what up tube here we have the yg290 projector and i'm going to make this video because some people will be really angry at what i'm about to explain and some people won't um but there's also an app that you can install that helps you turn the brightness up on the main screen of the projector or when you use an hdmi device like the fire stick and whatnot and i'll show you how to do this and the other surprise that i've got to explain now here we have the main screen as you can see so if you install which i'll put in a link in the description screen adjuster free for android now you can't make the projector on, it, on any of these apps or on the main screen brighter unless you download the screen adjustment app so when you install it turn it on and you can see in the top corner it says here adjustment off now if you watch the color of the screen and you turn it on you'll see it go brighter as you can see so you can play about the contrast and whatnot turn it up and down so your main screen and you just press the home button on the control you can see is brighter so that helps with the brightness and the contrast and the color not if you load it again it's still open in the same place so when you go back to the top where it says the power on active and you click it you'll see the screen go dark again there you go so there's one way and just click the home button to come out to turn your projector you can see the screen is not as bright anymore so when you use an hdmi device if you want to turn the brightness up now ah, fire stick is off so we'll just turn that on now there's no way in the fire stick you can turn on the projector doesn't have the settings but when you turn an hdmi device in push the menu key which would be the button here in the middle once and in this corner picture mode will pop up but only when you use an hdmi device a pc or a smart box or whatnot and you've got the functions for standard user vivid soft pc mode so i just keep it on my user mode but it also has the display screen size of 4.3 auto mode or 169 it does also have the sound settings you can change it to obviously sports your user standard settings or news music by just keeping it on movie mode so there's a way that you can get the projector to play a different screen brightness contrast with the screen adjustment app which i'll add to the description but now we're going to the projector itself where you cannot open this projector to get it cleaned and i'm going to show you just now now here is my second yg 290 projector this is one i've already used and i only got to use it for six weeks so i'll explain what's next so you have took the dust cover off i don't know if many know it's got this dust cover um it's upside down you can see the dust build up on that that was after cleaning it and using it for two days so it was accumulated that much dust already now you can clearly see there's no screws anywhere there there's no screws on the bottom absolutely nowhere i thought maybe under the sticker there might just be one screw that you could take out and then maybe it'll slide out or something or maybe under the leg rests and i was like no no screws so believe it or not there's none under the qc pass sticker absolutely nothing so i thought it must be on the back you must unclip it and it must slide straight out or slide forward but i was looking at it and when you actually push up the plastic you can see it does have actually a clip here and here 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 and here so it's just like opposite each other opposite each other opposite and opposite i have tried to unclip it here and there and then i was thinking to myself wait a minute if i unclip this panel here's the heat sink there's a power source and there will be a chipboard for the power source there the power button the hdmi and usb is just going to have connected to the chipboard on top so all you've got to see on the side is the fan the heat sink and a chipboard that's all you've got to see 
So I was like, the other side you definitely can't take off because that's the lens side. So, but it's so hollow, you're like, maybe it does come off, but it doesn't even lift off the frame of plastic. So definitely doesn't come off there. So I took it to a shop where they were as baffled as I was how they'd closed this because when you try and flick this off, the middle part has definitely been glued down. So you, you can't get it off even if you're trying, but it was... What I just said, it's pointless because what was sitting there is the heat sink and whatnot. So that to access this is you need to be coming from the top because underneath here is a, the cover, the chipboard, then the cover. When you remove that, you'll have the glass at the angle, and then you'll have the the lens at the front hitting onto the glass, hitting onto the Fresnel lens, hitting onto the display screen. Hitting onto the polar light glass and then hitting onto the last um, Fresnel focus lens, which is in front of the LED, clipped into the shade for the LED with the light itself. So uh, that on the only way you can get to it. So the only way you can open this, believe it or not, because it costs you thirty pound to ship it back <laughs> because of the weight. And I've contacted AliExpress, and the seller blocked me immediately when I asked them. And then I, I said, I asked them, how do you open it? He wouldn't explain, he just says, you need to be an expert. I was like, wait a minute, I own 17 projectors, I've cleaned every one by myself, so I wasn't buying that reply, so I went and contacted customer service, and, and they looked in there and said the seller would send me some kind of diagram, but they didn't, they just sent me an email saying, you have to use a professional. You can clearly see that it's unaccessible, you can't get in it, it's, it's insane. So, I, I'm still baffled doing the video looking at how you get in this. And then, the only thing I could think of, because the plastic here is still thin, you would have to, and you would have to do this, because it only lasts six to eight weeks, and then you're having to either fling it in the bucket or send it back. Every six to eight weeks to pay £30 there, £30 back, with border fees included. And once they clean it for you, they're obviously got to not send it back free shipping because you've not purchased anything you've only got something cleaned so they're not going to send this back for free shipping you'll have to pay for the shipping there and back and the tax and the border fees so you've got to pay around 50 60 pounds to get there and back i'd say 60 plus and that's just to get cleaned for six weeks and then you can't use it again or you can either get a a, a big steak knife or a cutting something but i would suggest a, a knife heat up on the cooker and rest it on the plastic and then slide it forward so you get a cut right at the side, straight. You could balance it against a ruler be wearing gloves so you don't burn your hands. And you could take a little peek and see inside, but I already know about it's got to have a case and whatnot because every projected home. This side you could also put a slit down pure straight, then lift that so off the top and get to everything you need. Then when you've cleaned it all, put it back on, and you could actually put a bit of tape down either side because it's got to be upside down. You're not going to notice it. That's how I use it like that. So you're, I'm not going to see the two bits of tape. But if you neatly do cut it with the, the knife well, you could actually clip it back in place and put hinges on one side and maybe lift it and keep it and clip it at the front so you could do that all the time to clean it. Or you could glue it back in place if you like, but taping it just with two bits of black tape would probably make it look like a different model, but it would still hold it shut as long as the light's enclosed, but it wouldn't damage the project itself cutting the top. So that's the only way you can access this, believe it or not. You can get in it. There's a pointless taking this back flap off because then all the screws holding it out are and built into the plastic. You cannot get inside this. So if you purchase this, you wasted your money. I bought two, so I didn't care for Um But the one I'm using now is already building up dust, and I've only had it on four days. I'll even show you. It's ridiculous. Now, this is my other one that's on. You can see bits of dust building up already. This is after four days. And th there is other parts. There's a lot of dust on it. You just might, it's hard to see on the phone, but it is there. There's more dust than that. So, but every projector gets this mark here with a, like lots of dust because the outtake is in that top corner. So all the hot air is going 
coming in this way, cold gone round the projector, round past the screen, round this way and getting blown out here. So this corner is what you've got to concentrate on. And I do un do have a way to clean the projector, the TFT screen, the Fresno lenses especially, but I'll make another video of that because you have to use water from like the tap obviously, but water in a basin and scrub them with a toothbrush and you can get your projector to look brand new but I'll make it in another video and it doesn't damage it before you ask it's only the two Fresno lenses that you clean with the toothbrush to get that dark mark away that would appear on any dust it makes it phenomenal clean I've got 16 projectors I've cleaned every one that way I'll make a video and show you how you do this because you do make your projector look brand new it's incredible but besides that the only way you've got to make it brighter is by any projector like DLP, this one, or the X8, the X7. It doesn't have the functions for the light, but what it does when you turn on the HDMI, but on the actual projection itself, the projector main screen and these apps can't be made brighter unless you have the screen adjuster. So I hope that helps you. And if you can get this projector open or have got open, please message me because this is just insane or you've just wasted your money like I have. So if you wish to return it for 30 quid a time every six to eight weeks, then that's up to you, it's your choice, but I certainly haven't. But anyway, guys, peace out.